what's up, Rick? This is what I wanted to show you. Uh, this audio is going to be probably bad. Um, but this is the exercise that I was trying to explain to you. As soon as I get a bottom hi-hat. That's better. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> audio just got even worse. Okay. Okay, so what I want to do is play a paradiddle. Right, left, right, right. Hands alternating paradiddles. Step one is going to be to count paradiddles in eighth notes. This is an eighth note. One and two and three and four and. So I'm playing four bass drum notes. If I count eighth notes, four times two is eight. So every time I hit a bass drum, there's going to be two things that I have to count. One and. I mean, it makes sense if this is one, two, three, four. If I divide each of those hits up into two, then I'm saying one and two and three and four and. So paradiddles counted as eighth notes would be this. One and two and three and four and. The trick is your hands will be playing an actual paradiddle. One and two and three and four and. A paradiddle is in a grouping of four. We're counting an even number. We're dividing, we're subdividing our bass drum into eighth notes, an even number, four, two, four in the paradiddles. This is going to feel normal. One and two and three and four and. And I would suggest just counting paradiddles like that. One and two and three and four and. We're not anything hard yet, so that should be pretty normal. That should feel good. So the next step, and this is where it gets tricky, is to count the paradiddles, a four note grouping, count it in triplets. And we would count triplets over, eighth note triplets, over a bass drum, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. So, I'm going to start playing paradiddles, count eighth notes, one and two and three and four and now I'm going to start counting triplets, but I'm not going to change the paradiddle that I'm playing. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, paradiddle, paradiddle. So you're going to play three paradiddles over four bass drum notes. One triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four. Ah. So I'm playing paradiddle, paradiddle, paradiddle. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Paradiddle, paradiddle, paradiddle. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Just counting paradiddles in triplets is tricky. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. It feels weird, and then when you add your bass drum on one, two, three, and four, it feels even weirder. Um, the third part of the exercise is still playing paradiddles, still playing your bass drum on one, two, three, but now the note rate changes from the triplet to 16th notes. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a. And that's pretty easy. So the only tricky part is that triplet and the fact that your paradiddle is changing its note rate. So all on the snare drum.
out loud is is actually the hardest part of the exercise because you can't play it right if you can't say it right. If you can say it, you can play it. So practicing without the bass drum, just getting your hands to cycle eighth notes, triplets, sixteenth notes is a tricky part. You saw I, I had a couple times where it was tricky for me. Um, an extra cool exercise would be to just alternate paradiddles. <laughs> which would be 16th notes, if I put my bass drum on 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now I'm going to play 1, 2, 3, 4. This would be a whole separate exercise. 1, 2, 3, 4. Really focusing on the right accent, paradiddle, lining up with your right foot, and the left hand lining up with your left foot. And after we do that, then we move the accents. Instead of, I'm going to go, instead of, I'm going to go, so. If you get that idea, just playing one, two, three, four, paired little on your snare drum, alternating right and left, moving the accents, then you can work on a mobility kind of thing where the accents of the paired littles always move. And that only gets funner the faster you play it. going to be on the ride for the right hand. Diddle's going to be on the four time. I'm going to put a bass drum on the first note. Now those are just right paradiddles. So if I alternate and do the same idea with my left hand, so move the left hand to the hi-hat and the diddle to the other tom, then I'm going... and it feels cool when it's fast. The hardest part is the diddle on this tom. Those, I think, are fun exercises. Or... That's fun, too. 